Tested. Interior style and tech. BMW has been on it with interior design in its new models. The X1's cabin makes good use of texture and color to add interest to swaths of plastic. The door panels in particular are appealing, pretty enough that you might leave the door open a few extra minutes so your neighbors can admire the Tweety pattern speaker grills and the gateway arch of a door handle. The console offers a lower shelf space, but it's not easy to access with a larger handbag. Cup holders sit low and out of the way, and the optional wireless charging pad leans back at the angle of a grandpa in a barca lounger. A nod to those of us who sneak a look at the screen at stoplights. Michael Samari Vertical Bar Car and Driver View Photos Michael Samari Vertical Bar Car and Driver. Speaking of screens, the X1 single curve display panel runs from behind the steering wheel. L to the center of the dash. Modes offer different instrumentation designs, and the right side showcases navigation, music, and phone interfaces. Unfortunately, the screen is also the only way to control the climate system and the seat heaters, and it's a long stretch for the driver, even for those of us sitting far forward. The sound system can be adjusted from the steering wheel, but to turn off the heated steering wheel or adjust the A-C fan, you have to do some poking around on screen never an ideal action while driving. Lows, Novocaine steering and brake feel, some challenging screen-based controls, ho-hum acceleration in the real world. The seats in our sample car were the optional sport seats. For a commuter SUV, they're deeply bolstered. While the seating position was good and highly adjustable, the cushioning was too firm for a long drive, a scenario in which the bones in one's posterior will quickly make themselves known. The rear seats are also stiff, and passengers may find the backrest angle too reclined, although the laid-back shape does make installing a child seat easier. Cargo space is generous, with a side net to corral small objects, a total of 26 cubic feet behind the rear seats, and 57 with them folded. View photos Michael Simmery car and driver. X1 pricing and equipment. Shopping for an X1 should be relatively easy, as there are no alternative engine or transmission choices, and the standard model comes with many features you'd want, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, LED headlights with cornering lights, a power lift gate, and roof rails. The X-Line package adds bigger wheels and more interesting interior trim, and a sunroof is available with either the convenience package, $1,950, or the premium package, $4,200. Nudging the price up from the $39,595 starting point is pretty easy, and our $50,795 example packs a lot into a small SUV. It may not be Chuck Yeager's glamorous Glennis, but even an experimental test pilot could use a practical runabout when it's time to hang up the flight suit and drive home.